I'm doing this thing, and you know, I think maybe Sean Penn had passed on it or something like that, <laughs> possibly wisely. And uh, I thought, yeah, I'll do that, and I'll do that after Iron Man. And then I started thinking, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. And then I thought, well, hold on, dude, get real here. Where is your heart? And my heart is a. I get to. I get to be black for a summer in my mind. <laughs> So there's something in it for me. <laughs> the other thing is I get to hold up to nature the insane self-involved hypocrisy of artists and what they think they're allowed to do on occasion. Just my opinion. And also Ben, who is a masterful artist and director, probably the closest thing to a Charlie Chaplin that I've experienced in my really? lifetime. He writes, he directs, he acts. He, if you had seen him when he was directing this movie, you would have been like, I'm watching David Lean. I'm watching Chaplin. I'm watching Coppola. He, he knew exactly what the vision for this was. He executed it. It was impossible to not have it be an offensive nightmare of a movie. <laughs> and 90% of my black friends are like, dude, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other 10%? Um, you know, I, <laughs> I can't disagree with them, but I know where my heart was. Yeah. And I think that it's never an excuse to do something that is out of place and not of its time. But to me, it was just putting a – it was a blasting cap on – and by the way, I think White Chicks came out pretty soon after that. Yeah. And I was like, I love that. Yeah. I was like, that was great. Yeah. So, you know. Well – it might be the last time we see that, unless things change. It seems like no one can really – I don't think you could do blackface anymore. I mean, we almost lost the prime minister of Canada because he did brownface. He yes. pretended to be Saudi Arabian, right? Yeah. He did Arabian Nights in high school or something like that. It's, uh, it's an interesting and necessary meditation on where is the pendulum, why is the pendulum right? Yeah. Where is the pendulum uh, maybe cutting a little into what could be perceived as as heart in the right place, openness of its time? But again, I mean, you know, there's a morality clause here on, on this planet and it's a big price to pay. And I think having a moral psychology is uh, is job one. So sometimes you just got to go, yeah, you know, I effed up again. Not in my defense, but Tropic Thunder was about how wrong that is. Yes. So I take exception. No, it's it, – I think you could do it today.